I'm going to introduce you to Bloom's Taxonomy Technology Pyramid by giving you a brief history of the pyramid in Web 2.0 and explaining how the two have been aligned. In 1948, Benjamin Bloom spearheaded a group of educators whose task was to classify educational goals and objectives. Eight years later, in 1956, their work was completed and a handbook entitled Taxonomy of Educational Objectives was published. This taxonomy is a six-tiered model of classifying thinking according to six cognitive levels of complexity. Knowledge, Comprehension, Application, Analysis, Synthesis, and Evaluation. In the 1990s, Lauren Anderson, who was one of Bloom's students, and David Crathwell, who had co-edited Bloom's taxonomy, led cognitive psychologists, curriculum theorists, instructional researchers, and testing and assessment specialists in a quest to update the classifications. They worked for six years and in 2001 published a revised version of the pyramid. The pyramid changed the nouns to verbs and realigned the evaluation and synthesis. The new pyramid consists of remembering, understanding, applying, analyzing, evaluating, and creating. The matrix was also revised to reflect alignment between standards and educational goals, objectives, products, and activities. In 1993, the World Wide Web was released to the public and Web 1.0 was born, sort of. There really aren't versions of the World Wide Web. The numbers are ways to delineate web capabilities. Web 1.0 is associated with static websites that weren't interactive. Users could download information, but they couldn't see how the applications worked, and they couldn't change them. News groups, forums, and personal web pages are associated with Web 1.0. Tim O'Reilly is usually given credit for coining the term Web 2.0 when he was at a conference brainstorming session between O'Reilly and Media Live International back in 2005. The World Wide Web has grown and changed. New applications that promote user participation, such as Flickr, Wikipedia, blogging, wikis, tagging, etc., are being utilized by millions. Web 2.0 technology is associated with applications that facilitate collaboration, new ideas, global communication, and creativity. Now we get to the alignment of Web 2.0 to Bloom's revised taxonomy pyramid. Samantha Penny is the Director of Distance Education at Indiana State University. Her research includes, among other things, the use of social collaborative and other technologies in education. Samantha Penny aligned Web 2.0 technology to Bloom's revised taxonomy to guide educators. It is an interactive site that shows how Web 2.0 applications and tools fit into the pyramid. It is not meant to be static, as the tools can often be moved up or down depending on their use. Various educators are adding to Bloom's taxonomy technology pyramid. One of them is Cheryl Dickerson, who uses the pyramid to develop lessons and activities that relate to students' real-world experiences and differentiate learning styles. Because of the plethora of applications out there, you might want to check out some websites that will assist you if you'd like to go beyond the current pyramid. Bloom's Apps is a site that has begun finding applications and assigning them a spot on the pyramid. Bloom's Taxonomy of Apps is a free web application to help teachers differentiate using Bloom's Taxonomy. After watching this podcast, I hope you have a greater understanding of the history and application of Bloom's Taxonomy Technology Pyramid.